Hey guys, Ladybird TV here. Going to show you a little short tutorial on how to do closed captioning from your OBS to put over your live streams or YouTube videos or anything that you may want closed captioning for. As a disabled gamer and a advocate for disabled gamers, this is a very important thing for me, an important addition to my streams, so I thought I would share with you um, how to do it. It's fairly simple and we will get right to it. Okay. First thing you need to do is have your web browser open to whatever channel you, whatever you, you want. Just have a website open. I have mine on Twitch there. And you're going to open a second browser and you're going to open it in incognito mode. This is important because it will, the caption, uh, the OBS will capture whatever window is up top. If you use an incognito uh, window, it'll capture that. So you're going to go ahead and head to webcaptioner.com and I'll put the link in the description. Hit start captioning. And you're going to go down here in this yellow uh, button and hit start captioning. You're going to allow it to listen to your microphone. Now, one problem I had with having multiple microphones was that it was picking up the wrong one. If you have that problem, you need to go into your browser settings and make sure that you have the correct microphone selected. From this screen, you can also click here in this little arrow here in the right bottom corner and you can go to settings. In here, you can choose your, your font, you know, the appearance of your font, the color, text color. Uh, you can set a background color if you would like to use a chroma key on it, a chroma filter in OBS to remove the background. Uh, you can censor certain words if you're like me and you have a potty mouth and you don't want it to show up on screen. This is where you will censor that. All the little fine tunings here. So far I've left mine pretty well uh, standard, but you are more than welcome to uh, make any choice you want there. it out of your settings and you can see that the captioning is working just fine right now. Now head on back over to your OBS or Streamlabs OBS. I believe it works the same for both. And I'm going to take off my tutorial screen for a moment. Well, no, I'm going to leave it on, you know. I'm going to push the little plus sign that you would to add anything to your OBS. And you're going to select Windows Capture. You can name this anything you want. I will name this one Caption. Um, click OK. You're going to want to make sure, and it actually worked, and OBS is very difficult at times. And if you cannot get it to capture the correct window, exit out, open it back up, close browser. You know, you, the OBS can be tricky at times. But, for purposes of this tutorial video, it worked, so I'm happy. And you can see it has selected, it's capturing from the correct window. So I'm going to accept it now. It's taken up my entire stream. So we need to resize it. And you can do that just like anything you resize. Take the little arrow and just pull it in. From any corner, top, bottom, left, right, you can resize that way. Now with this still highlighted, hold the Alt key, and now you'll see you'll have a green box around it that you can crop out the bottom of the web browser and crop it down to however many lines you want displayed. I use three, and that seems to be, uh, it seems to work pretty well. And now you let go of the alt button you can drag this anywhere in your obs that you want to use it i keep mine in the bottom 
you can keep it wherever you would want it. Now, I'm going to close my screen capture so you can see how this looks within OBS, within my typical stream layout. You can see that it's working fine. Uh, that actually went pretty smoothly. Um, it's like I said, it's a pretty simple thing to do. It's a neat feature. It could really help out your uh, disabled or uh, hard of hearing or completely deaf um, viewers. Um, whether you're on YouTube, whether you do vlogs, whatever, you know, live streams. I do live streams and I've just added this today and I love it. And I think it's a great addition to anyone's streams. If I could really help in any other way, um, if you need a more in-depth tutorial, uh, get at me on Discord or on Twitch. Get a hold of me. I'd be more than happy to walk you through it. Um, as always, thank you guys for your support. I hope this was helpful. And have a good time with it.